Welcome to the Daily Addiction channel. I am Joseph F. Alsis, also Addiction Master on most social media. I'm going to be talking about a TV show called The Boys, Season 2. Alright, I did a podcast on The Boys. I loved the first season. You can check it on my TV playlist, TV Talk. So, good news. The Boys Season 2 is good. A little bit of bad news. I had issues with the way it was put together. I probably, if I did a deep enough dive, I would find objective things that um, are issues. But all in all, I enjoyed the season. You gotta love the characters. They come back. Carl Urban, Jack Quaid, Anthony Starr. I think the development team kept on the ball for the most part. And I think I would chalk this up to me saying, just not for me in certain areas. Now, if you listen to my other podcast or you're new to this one, The Boys is like a real dark twist on the Justice League and or the Avengers. Well, mostly the Justice League, I think, if you want to get technical. It's developed by Eric Kripke. Uh, it's adapted from uh, a Goth Ennis book, I believe, graphic novel or a series. So it has that source material. You can have fans from that. I don't mind that. I don't mind them doing it differently, or it might be better than the comic. So the first season ends, and you've got this dark Justice League, these vigilante uh, resistance forming. Carl Urban is back, and he's just as good. I don't have a problem with any of the actors in the show that much. And it's a little disappointing because there are some actors that are the characters that are portrayed well. I don't like where it's going. I enjoyed some of the subplot of the first season and how they kept things on the back burner and brought them up. I don't like how it was done this season too much. So we leave the first season, we end it with a cliffhanger. And already I'm a little disappointed on how it's going to catch up. And it catches up, it makes everything... Um, hmm. It makes everything fit together. Like, it will tell you eventually. But I, but I was a little put off by it. Maybe it's because some of the side character subplots felt repetitive, and I wish they would have done something different. So again, this might be just a personal preference, a nitpick or two here and there that just... W- Wasn't what I was going to expect to watch, and okay, so that changes your perspective, and as long as it's done well, fine, but I don't think some of these things were done well. So is there chinks in the armor, there's cracks in the foundation? No, I mean, look, these seasons aren't really big, they're not long, but I would compare it to, you know, a a Daredevil or, or a Punisher, Jessica Jones. I find that narrative works better for those shows. The first season of this, it worked amazing. I think maybe they're trying something that just doesn't agree with me. So I'm not saying um, it's objectively bad and it's, it's written bad and it has uh, huge issues and it's not um, filmed good. And No, it still looks great. The characters are still love it. You love them and you hate them. Because that's what the show does great, too. you got these people who are pretending to be heroes, and they're really pieces of shit. They're scumbags. And there's things brought to the light. I don't get into the SJW or gender stuff. It doesn't really jump out at me. Or maybe I, for the first viewing, like I just finished season two of The Boys, so it's not like I'm going back and doing a deep dive on each episode. But you can feel a little bit of moments that were going to be talked about and framed in a certain way, whether they're correct or not. So I get mixed feelings about season two. Overall, I like it. These characters are great. 
I wish they would have pieced it together differently. I wish the progression of the storyline was better framed and side story was different. It seemed kind of like, you know, you could have done better. But considering eight season, eight episode seasons, this is the second season. It's, it's, there's nothing that's glaring. And when it starts off and you're getting caught up in what's going on, there's, there's definitely uh, a feeling that the, the stakes are a little bit lost. So I'm kind of wondering when the characters get put in a position and the, you have the villains, that they make decisions that I don't think they would have, like they would have made them in the first season. And there's no real um, justification for it. And I'm all for characters growing and changing and um, a villain doing things differently. And But the way they started plotting this out from the first episode, it just started nagging me a little bit. You're definitely going to get uh, a thrill out of the season. It's good. It's fun. It's um, irreverent. It, they still have some moments that just make you laugh your ass off. Uh, they're a little... Um, you know, they're funny, shocking, and dark, and, you know, gory. It, it still plays with that well. And coming to the end of it, I was a little hesitant to, again, look at it and say, oh, um, this is not a good season. I, I started having issues with it that by the end, I, I realized, you know, you know, when you get to the last episode or two, you start going, okay, so I know that's not going to happen, or that plot thread is not going to work out like I thought. And I think that's what was weighing on me, and it's, it's personal, I guess. It's not like I'm saying, uh, you know, something was cut out of the show, and this scene doesn't make sense leading to that scene. I just didn't like the way it developed. And I, that's like a personal thing, so I'm not knocking the show on that. It's like, I guess, wow, I wanted the show to be written more like I would have wrote it on. And that, that's not a real critique on the on the show but i think there are a couple more issues with the show than it was the first season these this is not going to be a spoiler it's a pretty new show I, I don't do many of them unless i go um you know try to do a deep dive on them but i like the way this film uh the show is filmed and shot they really get what they can out of the actors i just wish a couple of them were written better and there's a weird, um, I don't know, it, it gets me in a weird place at the end. But for, like I said, for most people, I think it's going to be a fun ride. And yeah, it'll be ups and downs and, you know, some deep moments and uh, some crazy shit. And I love it in that sense. I just wish a part of me wishes that it was... Uh, um, done in, just in a I don't know I had this problem with The Witcher I think when they tried to do their explaining of the show and they didn't really make it apparent and it kind of lost you now this is nowhere near like that but I think um, my brain was working in a you know a Sherlock Holmes way from the first episode on and I was really paying attention to things that I was expecting. So in an honest take, I think I'm picking out a lot of things that are bothering me. And it might seem like it's a problem for me, but no, I, I really like the season. I'm just not critically or, you know, going to give it a, I don't fucking do numbers, systems or whatever. Um, you know, but I wouldn't give it a, the highest praise. I wouldn't put it at the top of the show. In, in some sort of ranking. But I think it's enjoyable, fun. Is it as good as the first season? No. But that's not a real knock on anything. And where is it going to go? I'm interested in. It is a funny... Well, not a funny story. It's just fucking interesting to me. But I do role-playing and I role-play superheroes. And I usually... My world is an amalgamation of everything. But when you're playing for a certain amount of years and... Like a show comes out, I sometimes make a decision. Do I just blend it in like they've always been there? 
or do I make it like an alternate universe? So I made the boys an ultimate universe, alternate universe. And I had uh, a couple of adventures where one of the characters um, got sent there by accident. So I have like my own little written thing. And I guess, to be honest, that's part of it too, I guess. Hey, look, uh, I fancy myself a writer. I would love to be, you know, on some show writing, you know, some comic book characters that I love or even ones that I don't. So, yeah, there's that too. Uh, I'm familiar with the world enough that I've already written stories in it. I guess you can call it fan fiction, but it's, you know, game master stuff. Where they have things to do and they have to blah, blah, blah. So really, from season two is a diverged universe from what I play in my world now because someone has altered it. And that could be revisited by my characters. You could check out some of my podcasts I do. I talk about using the Roll20 system to do um, superhero roleplay type stuff. So where's it going to go? I know where I wanted it to go. Or I want it to go. But I don't think it is. I don't think it's going in a bad direction, no. I guess there's uh, potential for that, right? There's always a... <laughs> there's always something that can come out and just, you know fuck up everything but i don't think it's like that trend like that's not what the, the nitpicks off of me and some things have to start um making a little more sense so you have character decisions that end the first the second season and throughout the season like i said i disagreed with like it didn't feel right that this character was doing certain things this way and it wasn't like a uh, a reveal of uh, some other plot. It just felt very jarring for the character. And then at the end, in an almost cliffhanger... No, not a cliffhanger way like the first season, but you're presented with a new status quo. And how the characters are going to respond to that. Maybe it's a good thing that I don't have an, a real solid... Well, you know what? I kind of do because of the way it goes, but... Again, it's more personal where I want it to go, where I think it would be a great, amazing thing. But that's just personal preference. The Bully Season 2, really good. I recommend it. I think you'll find a lot of fun in it. The heart's still there. It's, 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 not, a big it's not a huge departure where you, you know, like uh, new showrunners came over and, and, you know, tried to do their own thing. and. No, it's just little things that I've talked about through this podcast. So give it a shot. I recommend it. And I don't know if it hurts a show like this to be on a, a prime type thing. I wonder in the long run, uh, are some decisions made to do certain things based on the way the show is being funded? Maybe I should look into that. That'd be interesting. I mean, you always hear about Netflix getting all the money and they have all the resources to make shitty stuff, good, you know, take chances and have independent stuff here and there. Uh, I wonder if, like, a place like Prime, Amazon Prime, is, like, trying to do a little too much, pushing things so you're, you know, I don't know, just maybe you just doing a lot of colorful, loud stuff, and I want it to make more sense, if that means anything. This is something to think about. Watch The Boys Season 2. I'll talk to everybody next time. Be well.